I like I really didn't peep until like everybody started commenting like, yo, why is his voice so deep? You feel me? And like, why is he? And then everybody tell me I'm tall. I never knew I was tall. Nigga, you got tall as fuck. <laughs> you was like this big yeah. when I met you. Yeah, I was small. You was a little, little jit. Yeah. Yo, yo, yo. It's your boy, Hakeem. And you're watching Our Generation Music. And today... I'm with my little brother, Matt. Bro, Ox. I'm the big bro. Stop playing with me, bro. Stop. You're right. All right. <laughs> Our generation now. Let's get it. I love you, Hakeem. Hakeem is the best interviewer ever. Wow. And he better than Adam 22. That's how, that's how you. <laughs> that's a fact. Okay. <laughs> but, um. <laughs> that's how, hey, that's how Matt Ox would have started off, man. Um, shit. This new music. You heard it. He heard it. It's amazing. Thank you, bro. I you know it. we we going we going extra dimensional with this. You feel me? Another Just trying, universe. Trying to broaden broaden my my sounds. Would you Would you go to like Mars with Elon, uh, Elon Musk? I don't know what type of time Elon Musk going. I don't know Elon Musk. I would go to Mars though. You would. I don't know if I would go to Elon Musk though. If you If you go to Mars like and you can only take like three people, who are you gonna take with you? I'm gonna take you. I'm gonna take my boy Hakeem. I'm gonna okay. take my mom. That's it. I can tell you guys jokes on the way there. When you I know said it's a long... three people are like including me. Like, when you said two. People. Another person. You get another person. Please take a girl. <laughs> I don't got a shorty. I could just say. I'll just say a shorty. I can't say no names. One of maybe one of these famous like TikTok girls or something. I'm not picking one of them. Or I don't know. Maybe a famous. Uh, Disney Channel star. Scott Jackson hit me up, but chill. That was like another, like last year, two years ago. Scott Jackson, she hit you up. Yeah, she cool. I like Scott Jackson. She fire. I used to watch her shows all the time. Oh, that's cute, man. You got yeah. your little crush, man. Chill. <laughs> but look, I think, and I'll tap it with her, so I can't. Can't even do that. I ain't gonna uh, like respectfully. Shout okay. Out you know. You've been in this for a while, you know, You're and you're young. You're at an age where, you know, you're building your taste. You know, you can hear it in your music. You're rapping about different things. You're inspired by and just, you know, just having questions and shit. What what type of books and mu and movies have you been, like, consuming? For sure. I've been watching. The last movie I watched was Enter the Void. I ain't going to lie. That's a big. That, yeah, that movie was crazy, and it showed me, like, the inspiration of, like, ASAP Rock, you know, that. And mm -hmm. like and like, I don't know, yeah, but that 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 was crazy. So it showed me a lot about like inspiration and stuff, and like how inspiration goes around and stuff. But mm -hmm. like, cause I also saw like the the runaway video by Kanye, Kanye, and then the weekend video. Which weekend video? When he's the whole the movie Runaway, and then right, it was like a movie, and then yeah, when he film. car when the crash the car crashes, and he's running, uh, and he gets out, but he gets out the car at first. Yeah, yeah. All right, but like, remember that one, the big weekend video? Mm hmm. The biggest one. Uh, the biggest weekend? Wait, the, the first hills? one. The, the hills. hills. Yeah, and he yeah, gets yeah. out the car and it yeah. crashes. It's just showing how, like, videographers can see something and make make it a huge thing. You feel me? About just an idea. But, um, that. And for books, I've been, I've been watching, I've been, I've been reading. A lot of Alan Watt books. I have an Alan Watts book. I got a Ron Doss book mm -hmm. at the crib. Uh, a lot of philosophers, you feel me? But really, I be watching videos like After School. Mm -hmm. Everybody should watch After School. All, all the young boys, everybody watch After School. What is After School about? After School is, is a YouTube channel where it's pretty much teaching about just history or the new generation or just what's going on. Anything, a lot of things, philosophies, all types of things, you feel horoscope thing, all cosmo cosmologist thing, all different types of things. Mm -hmm. Everybody should watch that. But that's where I'll be like getting knowledge from instead of books. Okay. That's dope. I'm gonna definitely check that out. I just recently was walking through my apartment building and there's like a table there and it has a lot of free stuff. And one of the free stuff that I came upon mm -hmm. was uh four arrangements or something like or agreements or some shit like that. <laughs> What book is it? Is it Four Agreements or something? Oh, Four. I 
forgot. Let me make sure. I think it's the four. The four agreements. That's what it is. Four agreements. What's it about? I don't know what it's about. I guess it's just a, like four agreements. So you gotta live by some it. shit. I haven't I haven't read it yet. It was just there, and I was like, I'm gonna take it. Everyone reads this book. Okay. My I don't know my problem with books. Like I feel you know, like. I uh I know this one book is not even words. It's all art. Mm-hmm. It's called Honey, Honey and Milk. Search it up if you can't find milk? it. Honey and Milk. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Cause it's too extract, extract, extract. Honey. And what's the what's the overall thing you learned from that? Is it's like no, it showed me. It, I didn't learn nothing from that book. I sh- it showed me certain things that was like crazy. I just wanted you to see it. It's not really like a, it's an art book. That's what I was saying. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. I see. I see. Look that's at dope. It, it's crazy. It's like drawings and like little poetry or something. Yeah, it does have poetry. It's hard to read though. It's very hard to. I want to read it though. I don't. It's not my book. It's my one engine, my one producer's book. I want to read that book. That book is crazy. I, I, it's hard to read, though. It's, like, written backwards mm. in, like, very weird text. Wow. It's an old book. Yeah, I wasn't a fan of reading. I'll yeah. listen to some shit. Man. I listen to stuff, too. I love I listening to, like, philosopher talk or, like, the after school stuff. It got, like, cartoons with it, so that joint mm. perfect. You feel me? Yeah, I'm not into that. But, um, you know, you're a child star, a rap child star. Now, how have you I been down... Star. You're a star. Prodigy. Okay. Okay. You're a rap prodigy. How have you been balancing, you know, being a normal kid and just being the rapper Matt Ox? Like, I feel like it's it's like the same thing as a childhood and ten times, like, just off, though, like, litter and just, like, crazier and just, like, your schedule's off and, like, all that type stuff. Like, as a rapper and being a kid... It's not hard. It's fun. You feel me? It's just finding the balance between schoolwork, mm-hmm. studio time, and all that extra stuff. You feel me? And learning actually. Do you do you like do you care to have like a normal life and go outside and play and like? I mean, normal do normal shit. Maybe go to like a prom. There's nothing really normal about any of that. It's just or quote unquote normal. Right. That's what I'm saying. It's like. I'm going to live whatever organically flows to me, you feel me? Like, okay. whatever my destiny is, my dest- whatever happens is in place for me, you feel mm-hmm. me? I ain't going to want something out. Like, I'm going to take what I get. But at the same time, I feel like if I did have a... Ra- like, I have what I want, you feel me? I always wanted to be a rapper ever since a kid. Mm-hmm. So if I did have a childhood like that, I would just want to be where I'm at right here. You know what I'm trying to say? Mm-hmm. So for me... It's hard for me to answer that. Maybe to somebody else, they wouldn't want to be that. They wouldn't know how to handle it. You feel mm-hmm. me? My first song was called Overwhelming, and that's how it got my whole the whole career. It was overwhelming for a little bit. Yeah. But now it's just like that overwhelming. You need to know how to use it as excitement, like the adrenaline, as get excited from it, use it as joy. You feel me? Instead of to that, getting anxious and scared. You feel me? Yeah. Well. I'm, you know, I feel like a big brother to you at certain points, man. You should go to fucking prom or some shit, I think man. I should go to prom. Yeah, man. I'm down. I mean, you, you a real prom bull, though. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I was prom prince, man. Yeah. It's a good experience, I feel you. man. I feel you. I want to see a Maddox at prom picture. Okay. That would make me feel good. All right, but it would have to be with some crazy joint, like. Get you a little celebrity chick. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Pull up. Like, call your high school, like, yeah, you know, they're no, gonna let you do it. Bro, I ain't go to high school. Okay. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, bro. Okay. Like, yes, it was early. I was 13. Yes. I, but yeah, mm-hmm. I forgot about that yes. for a second. But High school. Did you go? I'm go on a video chat. Did, I'm already on a video chat. Like, what do I do? Are Are you planning on like getting your GD or anything like that? My like, license? No, your GD. Oh, stop, bro. Cause I don't know nothing about school, bro. Like, you can't tell. That's something about school. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I don't know what a GD is. It's what you do when you don't go to school. Like you can get it, like just as a certificate, like uh, you know that I I probably at least will. participate. I or mean, I'm shit. going to school still. I'm going on. You on want online, online school? school? Yes. Oh, what are you in online school for? Are you in college? Like what? No, are you... I'm on. I am in high school, but I'm saying like I never went to a real high school. You okay. know what I'm saying? So pretty much on there is just tasks and like quizzes and tests and stuff like that. And what's your schedule with that like? Is that an everyday thing or yeah, every other day? Pretty much, you gotta get on live uh, calls and stuff. That's why I brought my laptop out here. Mm. Yeah. 
How has that been? Has it been challenging for you? It's or? cool, actually. It's not that hard because it's a lot of them is uh, like click buttons, like it's, mm -hmm. uh, for multiple question joint, choice joints. <sighs> I was used to be the guesser man. No cap. <laughs> no cap. That's a fact. I used to have a little little pattern: B A A B C B. <laughs> You gotta switch it up sometimes. You sometimes. can't do the same thing. Like nigga, get a sixty-five and be like, ah, in class, like, not ah, right. man, I study all night. Teacher look at him like, shut your dumb ass up. <laughs> you a Kevin ass. You ain't fucking study for this shit, right. nigga. What the fuck? No, you whenever mean? I did that, I'd be like, ah, oh, it's not too bad. Like I wouldn't really care. Mm -hmm. You already rich. I'm not rich. I'm wealthy. Wealthy. Okay. I don't want to be rich. I want to be wealthy. I like that. Um. Well. Do you plan on possibly going to like college after you're done with this? Get your I feel like I want to learn about certain things I want to learn about so I could do things with that. You can knowledge. study whatever you want. That's in what I'm saying. But but the the way it's set up is like a system almost. It's like mm -hmm. it's like the way they teach you is the way they're gonna teach you. It's like I can learn in a different way. It's like is you know what I'm trying to say? Like yeah, yeah. I learn from. A lot of things you don't experience. Gotta, you don't have to be teached to be, learn, or that's the right way to say it. Teached, taught, taught. To be learned. Yo, I'm drawing, bro. I'm really drawing right now. All All right, right, it's the yeah. same shit. Did we just say the same shit? Teached or taught? No, because you can't say teached. I'm pretty sure, right? I don't like, that's know. That's not bro. a I word. Hated, I hated fucking school too. I'm man. no English man. Ugh. I had to learn English when I was like fucking nine. When I came to America, so like it's my like. I spoke broken up English my whole life. So. But no, I feel like it's different forms of knowledge. It's like there's school knowledge, and then there's there's a lot of knowledge that they don't teach in school. You feel I feel that. Like, I'm sure you would like some like psychology classes and stuff sure, like that sure. if you, you go to college. I do or... be interested in psychology. Like, um, Carl Young, GOAT. I don't know who that is. Who's you that? need to tap in. He's a uh, psychoanalyst. And yeah, psycho psychologist and psychoanalyst. One of them, but a uh, philosopher too. And he just be... Talk, bro, he's genius. I'm not mm. gonna lie, it's scary how much he knows. Like, he'll, he'll say quotes that'll just be like, blow your mind, you feel me? Just mm -hmm. be like, damn, that's why this is like that. Yeah. I like uh, 48 Laws of Power. That's well, a good yeah, one. I, the Artist Seduction. I, I think I got that book. You should watch it. You, not watch it. <laughs> you watch the book. You should read the book. <laughs> you should read the book. I think my boy Adam Mata might have told me, about, told me about that book. Did you? Yeah. Yeah. You should definitely check it out, man. Um, swagging on me. Man, that's ain't nothing. Them I just shoes. shot a video on these, bro. So you about to see these again. Like, it's just like I today, though. It was today. So You were just a part of the, the Givenchy campaign. Oh, yeah. Shout out Matthew Williams. Gang, you know. Boy, bless me. Lace me up with the drip. I ain't going to lie. How, how did you build this relationship with Matt? Like, I met him. Like a year or two ago, he was just, he liked the album, I'm pretty sure. And he was, no, he liked the single, Zero Degrees, I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. And I linked him, and I pulled up on him at the studio. Where at? In LA, I'm pretty sure, up near the Capitol building. Okay, okay, okay. I'm pretty sure. It was a while ago, it was like a year or two. Mm -hmm. But after that, he just stayed in contact and texted me, like, yo, we about to drop one, we'll send you some clothes. How, how many uh, other artists were involved with it? It was, a couple, like four in that alpha. Wait, it wasn't that. It was like, yeah, it was, I don't know. I, I saw a picture of like four people. Who'd you, you see? Me? I saw King Von, and that was right before he checked. And like, that's when I peeped and I was peeping him. And mm -hmm. It was like, damn, it was like, happened right away. It was crazy. Did you guys, you and Von ever chop it up or anything? No, I never talked to him. So I never got the chance to, to meet him. Yeah, yeah he, was, he was dope. My roommate was trying to put me on to him for a while, yeah. and then finally checked him out and I'm like, bro, this thing of storytelling is different. And Fetch. he's like, yeah, Fetch. for real, for real. R.P. Vaughn. R.P. Vaughn. For, for sure. Um, man, you've been uh, experimenting a lot, a lot hearing the different cadences. It's the just different... a lot of ideas, bro. It's like, just try and get it out there you feel me as much as I can. What, what, what really inspired you to start like Showing your versatility, versatility, and just like yo, testing the waters, like yo, like I want to try to make something new, a new sound. I want to create something. I feel like it was producers for real, for real. Like, for instance, like Tame Impala or like Flying Lotus or like mm -hmm. Madlib. All them, 
especially right now, mm -hmm. that's really inspiring me to do like new things that aren't even like it's just like real artistry. It's like I look like in my music like it's a I got a paintbrush and my music is a canvas and I'm making like this song is a painting pretty mm -hmm. much. You feel me? And I'm drawing it out. And pretty much like yeah, producers and just like engineering and stuff like that. That's really like that's very inspiring to me right now because it's like you could create so many new sounds that hasn't been heard. It's like billions of sounds. So it's like putting that together, that's like the main thing of experimenting pretty much. Okay. Like the other day, I don't know if you saw, I was on my on my uh, story. I was like, I recorded the joint on Logic. I was like, yo, pull me up. I was just like, woo. I was in my room just mm -hmm. saying like that. And I'm like, yo, pull me up on Logic. Recorded that. Woo. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Real quick. We sent, I put it, bro put it in the keys. I got my boy Adamata put it in the keys. Mm -hmm. We made a whole beat out of it. You feel me? It's just stuff like that. Like, I saw, um, yeah, uh, never mind, never mind. Who, what'd you see? I saw, never mind, never mind. It's dead. I was gonna say, uh, Roddy Witch, talking about the, uh, Michael Jackson, mm -hmm. but I was gonna say Michael Jackson, but then I, Roddy Rich talked about it already. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. So it's like, I don't gotta say it. Are you, how much are you involved in, like, the creative process now with a producer? A hundred percent, for real, for real. Like I, I try to stay. Like bro, the, the songs I dropped on the unorthodox tape. Mm -hmm. It's all like all the sessions. I was really in there mixing with them. Like how to drop it. Like I was structured and all that. Like feel me. Mm -hmm. Just really engaged in it, trying to do the most. You feel me? trying to get it. My vision as perfect as I can. You feel me? Cause I don't like. Li I got so much music. I could listen to my old music and be like, I don't want to listen to this no more. I want to make music that I could listen to in five years and be like, Yeah, I did that. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. So you, you right now are on the journey of making something that's gonna live forever. Pretty much. That's what I'm trying to do. Long jeopardy to go. For sure. For sure. For sure. For sure. Who's who's somebody you you think accomplished that or you look up to that's for sure done that. X. Very true. But um, yeah. How how um, I always think about this, and I always think like his his death really just put this void into the SoundCloud scene. Big and, impact. And like, yeah. it didn't get to fully flourish because he wasn't here to really keep that oh, going. He could have like started so many genres. It would have been crazy. So sad, man. Yeah. Like, it's just it's crazy, bro. He was really about to be like. Number one, yeah. like, scary shit. Do you remember the last thing you guys talked about or anything like that? We were just on FaceTime, probably. I was supposed to link with him. I was supposed to go to his crib. Mm -hmm. We never got to link after that. It was like, damn. That was, you feel me? We dropped the song. It was like, yeah, you got to come to my room and link me. Never got to link. So that's just, damn. That's just yeah. Fuck. Man, sad, but. He's still, you know, he's still... He living at, through all of us, bro. Like, all real, music, real. all SoundCloud, everything. Yeah. For sure. For sure, 100%. Well, I'll probably be with you on the day, but what, what is Maddox's plans for his 18th birthday? Your 18th birthday is basically going to be your 21st birthday, probably, in reality. Yeah. But, I mean, on my 18th birthday, I'm going to be turned, man. I don't what know do you where have I'm going to What do you want to do? I don't know what's going to happen, bro. <laughs> you don't even know. Like, it's a mystery. It's a surprise. What are you gonna do, man? I don't know. I'm gonna be a whole nother person. Like, <laughs> you gonna shave your head off when you're 18 or some gonna crazy go shit? Britney, Britney Spears on him, man. <laughs> I really want it. You gonna go all for Britney on your birthday? Yeah, shout out Britney. They they trash Britney too much. I love you, Britney. I do love Britney. Come on, don't Britney, me. a legend, man. For sure, for sure. <laughs> she's don't a legend. Play with her. Nah, she's a legend. She's I need, a legend. I need, I need like a like a a white shirt with like a 04 Britney picture in it, just for like a f underneath shirt for the flannel. I feel That's like wrong. that would go crazy. That's I need wrong. to make that. I need to wear that in my next. Make interview. your own brand, man. I got, I, I got, here. I got some shit coming. Let me get something. You man. know I got you. Uh, Come on, man. Yeah. You know I got you. Let's get it. Um, I saw you. I've seen you like two times. You know, since COVID, whatever, you came out, whatever, last time now you're here. And you got tall as fuck. Your voice changed. Like, bro, what was your reaction when your, like, voice changed? I remember when I, my fucking voice changed, I was like, oh, it's lit I mean, now. 
Bro, I be... When people start telling me it, I'm like, all right, bet. I mean, it just happened organic. Like, I ain't peep for real. I was just rapping, you feel me? And I would mm-hmm. scream a lot in my raps, you feel me? So I guess it would get deep from that. Mm-hmm. And I guess, yeah, it just happened. I don't know. It's crazy. I, like, I really didn't peep until, like, everybody started commenting, like, yo, why is his voice so deep? You feel me? And, like, why is he... And then everybody tell me I'm tall. I never knew I was tall. Nigga, you got tall as fuck. <laughs> you was like this big yeah. when I met you. Yeah, I was small. You was a little, little jit. That's crazy. And now you like almost taller than fucking Dro. <laughs> no. You definitely almost taller than Dro. <laughs> yeah, you right. Damn. That's crazy. A hundred percent. What 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 song did you realize like, yo, I sound completely different. My voice definitely fucking changed. I mean, I didn't really know or, like, pay attention to Mm -hmm. it until people start commenting it. I was, like, I was just making music. I was just in my bag. Like, I was making the music I wanted to make. So it was, like, one day I'll make a whole singing song, and then one day I'll make a whole screamo song. Mm -hmm. And then I'll compare them. And when I would compare, I'd be like, damn, that's crazy. That's dope. And then... That's where it just gave me the like the two singles learning days that's like opposites. The sing one singing and mm-hmm. the one's like hardcore dark. You feel me? Days you um you know, you were experimenting with some psychedelic stuff. Very tame and Paula, Kevin Parker influence. Facts. What what were you listening to? What made you like wanna go for it? I would say it's it's, my mom plays a lot of like Mac DeMarco. Okay. And like I listen to Team and Paula a lot. All my friends listen to that. But mm-hmm. my mom definitely, it was a lot influenced by what my mom listens to, for real, for real. Um, like she be throwing me on to that type of stuff. For real, for real. That's dope, man. Yeah. It was ha- her favorite song, so that's why I dropped it first. That was, that was, a, was that a Mother's Day present or something? Yeah, pretty. I mean, it wasn't, a, it wasn't on Mother's Day. It was just, <laughs> It was just, I had a drop, you mean? She liked it, and then everybody else liked it, so it was just like a family dream. Okay. Mm. Okay, for sure. Um, I I enjoy it. I'm a big fan of uh, I'm a big fan of Kevin Parker and them. I fucking love them. I really want to go. When shows come back, I was planning on, but I was planning on seeing him at the Red Rocks in Colorado to go see him at that crazy venue. Kevin Parker? Yeah, Tame Impala. Oh, he's oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I just know Tim Impala. My mom threw me on, but yeah, yeah. I just he the bull with the long hair. Mm-hmm. He mm-hmm. is Tim Impala. Him okay. and his like he makes all the music and then he plays it live with his friends. Oh. Type shit. Oh, yeah, so they be snap. He be crazy, bro. I smoked weed for the first time like in like seven years, uh, seven eight years, maybe ten. When? Uh, remember the day we we're at Dro's and I came to make beats. Really. And you were like, nah, I'm gonna I wanna play and listen to my songs. I just came from the studio and I was sitting there. I remember there. that day. I was high as fuck. I didn't yeah. tell anybody because I didn't want anyone to make me bug out. It's weekend. I was fucking high as fuck. I was tripping the fuck out. <laughs> I was so high. That day I was definitely like, no, I remember that. I was like, bro, I wanna play my my songs. Yeah, I bro. was so I mean, high. I just... <laughs> Cause I was sitting there like, man, like fuck it. Nigga was like, man, I'm sad. I'm kinda down. I might as well get high. Right. I got high. I was geeking out of my fucking mind. No, no, not before that. So I got to the studio and he was there. You was playing your shit. I'm like, fuck, man. I'm in a cool high because the night before I smoked and everything was fine. I was enjoying it. And I was like, oh, this is cool. I, I guess I could do this again. Right. And then I come there. You're there. I'm high and shit. I smoked half the joint, took three puffs. I'm on the walk there and I'm like kind of bugging out, but not really bugging out. I'm like in a nice, calm state. I get there. By the time you let me sit down and plug up, my high goes down, and I'm like, oh, what the fuck, man? <laughs> fuck. So I was like, all right, I'm over it. I'm going to go back to the house and go finish his, the rest you of his went joint. Back to the house. I'm going to finish this joint, and I'm going to watch a movie. I haven't smoked a weed and watched a movie in, a, in fucking 10 years or so. Right. So I did, and I smoked the whole joint, and I was watching Pacific Rim, bro, and they started fighting, mm. nigga, and I was like, <laughs> lo- my brain exploded. Like I was like, I have to take a walk. Nigga, I had to walk down Hollywood Boulevard, like walk around and listen to music. And I was like, well, if I'm so geeked Wait, that's when you was listening to Tame Impala and then you told my mom about that? Yes, I was geeked out of my fucking mind, bro. Like I heard like 
like the hi hats over here, the keys down here, the fucking reverb and like his vocals over here. Yeah, like bro. nigga, I was like geeking the fuck out on it's Hollywood like Boulevard. Like, you gotta make, bro. It's like you want people to be like, you feel me? Mm -hmm. That's my whole uh, thing with Unorthodox. But also that tape, I'm just trying to drop it. Like I got so many, so many songs, bro. It's like, mm -hmm. how do I put? A hundred songs into five songs. All right, let me put all these, mix them together. And like, almost like a DJ, I structured out all these songs and just put them all together and made it go together, even though, even if they have different BPMs and stuff. So it's like, that type of stuff, it just mind blows people. Like, mm -hmm. the beat switching and just like, it just hits you, you feel me? It's like, you need to make music, like a lot of music is boring or repetitive now. It's like- So it's a very progressive style, what you're going for right now. It's super on your toes. Yeah, exactly. It's, this is also to bring the mosh pits back, you mm -hmm. feel me? Like I'm trying to, bro, Corona need to stop. <laughs> we need to come back outside and get things popping. Everybody need to just start moshing, bro. Like shows need to start again. Like I miss performing. I want to see y'all. I want to see my fans, mm -hmm. for real. A hundred percent. So when you perform this new project, are you just like not gonna take any breaks because of like the songs? <laughs> bro, that's what I'm saying, bro. I don't know what I'm gonna any, do, bro. I'm you're gonna, gonna be able to take any breaks, bro. You're gonna have to just keep I'm gonna just going. keep going, bro. You're gonna that's have cool. to, you're gonna have it. to just keep it going. I'm gonna the drink whole five time. Red Bulls before I go. <laughs> just start tweaking. You're gonna fly away. I'm gonna pass out. <laughs> oh man. Well, all right, let's also talk about the last project too. Sweet sixteen. Yeah. Dropped it out, you know, the special you know, day, you know, 16. I planned it in, like, two days. I was like, oh, I got to give him something. Like, it was like, I f how I felt with that, it was like, I'm 16 now. Mm -hmm. I might as well show him what I'm working with, you feel me? At, yeah. At this age, you feel me? So we could look back at this on some cool stuff, you feel me? That's how I felt with that. Nah, I, 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 really, drop. I really enjoy that. Um, You know, you had the gang on there. You had McCoy, Young guy, Lizzie, Marshall. Hollow. Everybody, all the homies on yes, there, sir. Narco Wave, all Narco that. Narco Wave, you know. All the homies on there, man. Everybody. I I enjoyed that project. I try to incorporate all the all the producers I know. You feel Ambition, me? Ambition. My boy McCoy went crazy. That was, that's you know? my favorite one on yes, there. Yes, sir. Good looks. Everybody liked that one. I knew, and that was the newest song I made. Mm. I made that like maybe a couple days before I dropped it. Mm. So that's how y'all know they want the new, they want the... The new ox. The new ox. Yes. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, I, I enjoyed that. I also really did like the Ami um, e song. Um, it, when it started out, I was like, oh, is this nigga about to get on some Griselda-type beat shit? <laughs> like, <laughs> and then it <laughs> still has that vibe, but it got your type of yeah. AOAs with the bouncy. Yeah. Was that your idea? Or Yeah, I pretty much... The bro just... My boy Cinnabite made that beat, right? Mm -hmm. And he just always cooks. So whatever he cooks on, I just hop on. I freestyle mm -hmm. all my music, too. It's all off the doom. It's all, like, mm -hmm. in the moment, whatever comes to me. So with Awning, I was mm -hmm. just, I went in there with the energy I had, and I did what I did. You feel me? It wasn't no planned out. It was just on the spot. It happened. And pretty much what stuck out stuck out about it was the hook everybody liked. Mm -hmm. And I didn't even like the hook. I thought it was too repetitive. I was like, Pop up on him, pop up on him. It was like, I was about to, you mean? But everybody mm -hmm. liked it. And the way that my boy mixed it was mm -hmm. crazy. So I just, I used that as the uh, the second to last. So. Yeah. Have you been listening to um, West Side Gun or anything? Like, you been fucking with them? West Side Gun? Griselda. Oh, yes. I've been listening to Conway and Benny the Butcher. You know what's crazy? Um, Four months ago, uh... Conway the Machine put an Alan Watts, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, sample on on this, but I did that with Cash Money AP like a year ago, and it was mm -hmm. crazy. It's like great minds think alike for real, for real. It's like people be on the same type of time. You feel me? It's like it's crazy, mm -hmm. but um, yeah, they do. I that's the uh, the boy you said was the only boy I ain't really been knowing. I saw his name earlier today, but that was the only person I I thought it was two people at first. You yeah. feel me? But yeah. They go crazy. My boy Dash, Go Dash, my boy always Dash, he put me on all them. He put me on the MF Doom right mm -hmm. before he died. He put me on the RP MF Doom. He a go mm -hmm. legend. Um, he put me on the Griselda and all them, you feel me? And he he been tapping me in with that. So yeah, they fire. Definitely. You're um 
I'm glad that you like them because they're very dope and they're really doing their thing right now. Shout out to those guys. Um, you're also, let's bring it back to the first project, the first album. What? You know, you're working on, with working on dying. Yes, sir. The came game. in the game with them. What's your relationship like with those guys right That's now? It's the bro still. I just, I just manage, hold on. Man, yeah, that's the bro still. Managers just switched up and stuff, so I can't be like make it too much with them because it's like I don't wanna do bad business, you feel me? But at the end of the day, I love all them. I love Filthy, I love Oogie, I love mm -hmm. all them branding, you feel me? I've been working with Forza still, shout out Forza. You know, he on the tape. So mm -hmm. yeah, that's still I got love for all them, bro, at the end of the day. Yeah. That's all it is. And um Pull up, yes sir. Went, went fucking viral on TikTok like for no reason. I ain't even... Ronnie James posted it. Yeah, that was crazy. I was like, why? <laughs> oh, that was. I was like, wow, that's dope though. That's crazy because that wasn't even one of my favorite songs. It's like, yeah, it was just a song. You and Key went. You and yeah. Creed did your thing. I like it. Went crazy. The Key snapped Key on that. Snapped on that. For the, sure. I, I like the beat. I can hear why what they yeah. caught like at the time with what the songs that were going viral on TikTok. Mm -hmm. I could definitely hear that. Um, why it did? Did you notice the increase of it? Like just from streams or anything like that? Everybody was just telling me like, "Yo, this is going viral. This is going viral." I was like, "Dope." They wanted me to make all these TikToks. I was like, "No, I'm not. No, like TikToker. I was not making no TikToks. What I look like a TikTok real rat? That's how <laughs> I was saying that like two years ago, bro. Mm -hmm. And now everybody like." Oh, the TikTok. No, nah, bro, been not on it. I'm chilling. I feel like I, I'll do a TikTok if I got some unreleased music I want to show off. Mm -hmm. Other than that, I'm not going to do a TikTok to an old song. I did this like, I mean, I shout out TikTok. TikTok dope, you feel me? But it's the way you use it. Okay. That's it. If If I'm using it to like be playing other people's songs, I'm just like, I ain't going to do, I'm not that type of person to do that. You feel me? I'm type to make a song and then put it on there. You you um you and Blonnie Bronnie James ever talk or anything? Like any We haven't actually. Never. Okay. That's crazy. It was okay. just he just liked the song, I guess. I don't know. Okay. Well, a little bit. I maybe um playing one on one. Facts. Cross that nigga up. No, you, I would, I what do you do to exercise? Do you play any sports or anything? I don't. Bro, bro, I'm a twig, bro. Stop playing with me. I'm a twig. You do eat smoothies, so you do be eating healthy as fuck. I be eating fuck. healthy, but still, I ain't, I ain't been working out at all. I take runs. I be running, mm -hmm. but I need it. I need to get back in the gym for sure, for sure. I want to. I'm down. Yeah, the gym is very overwhelming for me. Yeah. <laughs> you look like boy. <laughs> like stop, bro. <laughs> but speaking of overwhelming too. <laughs> it's been a long time since that come out, man. Yeah. What What's something you wish you knew then that you know now? Like, you just, no, nah, nothing, bro. I wanted it the way it is, the way it was. You feel me? I can't go back. and You feel me? I could say, like, oh, uh, pay attention and just, like, don't do this and do that. Don't do that. Whatever I did was meant so I could get here. Okay. You feel me? So you believe in everything it happens for a reason. Pretty 100%. much. Yeah. Yes. Okay. My boy Zeus say that all the time. Well, if you had some advice for an up and coming artist, or maybe someone that's gonna have the same thing will happen to them, they get blow up at a young age or whatever, what would you tell them that you do wish you, you knew? Do what you feel is best, like drop the music you like dropping. Stop worrying about what everybody else is saying. It doesn't matter how it's mixed. It doesn't matter where you're recording it. My boy Zeus recorded songs on his phone that got over 100,000 views now. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, you could do it however you want. And it ain't no limits to this. Mm -hmm. There's no boundaries. Once you realize that you, your mind, your thoughts are the paintbrush in the world, it's your canvas, it's no boundaries. You could, you mean? It's art. Yeah. I, pre I think the world and these young get cats coming up are going to appreciate that. Um, where do you see yourself in like five years from now, Maddox? I feel like everybody asked that question. Why is that such a popular it's a question? Very important question. You know, yeah. It's a five-year plan. Now, people ask me that shit, and I'm like, nigga, I don't fucking know. Um, don't try to look at your whole life in one second. Or, yeah, 
Uh, it was a quote like that. I forget exactly how it goes, but it's like, don't try to plan out your whole life in one second because you don't know. It's a mystery. The future was always a mystery. Mm. And people think, I mean, yeah, it may be able to get predicted in some ways, but it's a concept at the end of the day. You feel mm. me? It's all concepts. So my concept of my future is making the music I want to make. And living how I want to live. Okay. Concept, future. Maddox book is going to come soon. I can, Oxology. I can, a yes, course? Sir. Not Oxology. a book. You're going to teach a course? Stop playing me. Oxology. Stop <laughs> He's playing been me. Plot, hey, yo. <laughs> yo, we mean, stop playing. Um, okay. Well, you posted a picture today. We'll bring it back to the new project for a second. There's no features on it. You said there's no budget. No budget. What's your current situation like off right now? Room. Just off strength? What's the current yeah. situation with so the So I've been in Philly, you know. So i just been in Philly. This is what I've been working on in Philly, just grinding, you feel me? I'm in the studio. I'm addicted to music, you feel me? Like, I make so much music that it's like, I don't need a budget. I don't need feature. I, I love doing this, bro. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I just want to create. I wanted to show people I could do this without none of it. You feel me? Like, mm -hmm. I structured the whole thing out. I executive produced, you feel me? I I had to be there every mixing session just so I could get it the way I wanted it to sound. Mm -hmm. So with this whole thing, it's like I don't I ain't need none of that for real, for real. I, I just wanted to make music rawly. Like I wanted to show people they could do the same thing. Mm -hmm. We could all do this, you feel me? And easily. It's not like people think it's you gotta do this, you gotta have standards, you gotta pay this, you gotta do this person, you got no, you could do it from your crib. If you if you ain't got that, you can still do it, and you can still make it. Okay, hundred percent. What What do you want to accomplish with this project? This project, I want to accomplish a new sound, pretty much. I want people to see. All right, it's all collages. You see, you feel me? Mm -hmm. One song got twenty beats on it. Nobody really done that before, so it's like. <laughs> Wait, what? Yes, I don't think you heard it. Yeah. The last song, Psyche, mm -hmm. has a hundred song. I mean, twenty beats on it. And How long is the song? Four minutes. Sweet. Twenty beats, all the same BPM. Surgical. My boy Picasso sends me every beat is the same BPM. He sends me a hundred beats every day. So I just downloaded it all, structured them all out, did the little drops, put them all in. How did you come to this idea to do this? Where did this like? How did you come to this idea? It was pretty much like I had so much music. Mm -hmm. Like I said, how do I put a hundred songs in a five? Okay. You feel me? How, and also it's like the beat switching, it's like sometimes the one beat gets boring because a lot of people are just making loops now. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So it's like I wanted to have different melodies come back in and just have a crazy drop and just if the songs are going to be long, it has to switch up. It has to be interesting. It has yeah. to pop out once in every couple minutes. Okay, bit. Minute. There's a lot of greats from Philly. You know, you're one of them. What what do you think the state of, you know, hip-hop in Philly right now is? Shout out Philly. Shout out PA, like everything around Philly, period. You feel me? Delaware, mm -hmm. and Pittsburgh, and New York, all that going crazy. But Philly, shout out Tierra Weck. Shout out Quaddy Diesel from Delaware. Mm -hmm. You know, shout out Core. Shout out all them. You feel me? Shout out the real ones. You feel me? Okay. okay. Well, all right. Um... We usually do this, you know, to close it out and everything. Shout out, John. What's your uh, message for our generation? It is your generation. Like I said, it's our generation. There's no boundaries to this. It's, it's ours. It's everybody's. You feel me? So, at the end of the day, I love you, our gener the whole collective. I love all y'all. But also, like, like I said, the world is your canvas. Mind, thoughts, paintbrush. It's your generation. Make it. The gots to paint the picture. Paint the picture. <laughs> All right, my boy. I love you, Hakeem. The best. You.